Uh, the cigar box guitar that you're bidding on is the Honeybird model by Windy City Blues Box. Um, the guitar shown in this video might not be the exact guitar that you are uh, bidding on. Um, the box may be different or the woods used may be slightly different, but all the features are the same. Um, this is another variation of the Honeybird that um, we're selling right now. So all the same features, uh, everything described in this video will be consistent from guitar to guitar, but just the box might be a little different, the hardware might be a little different, so uh, definitely be sure to check the pictures. Um, so the features are, uh, as you can see, electric guitar pickup with tone and volume controls. Uh, the back of the neck is curved to fit your hand. It's not square like um, some of the necks and cigar box guitars out there. It's nice, round, and comfortable to play. Um, comes stock with a bone nut and bone bridge, which is usually a feature that's uh, reserved for high-end guitars, unless you want to pay a guitar tag a lot of money to do it. Uh, so that comes stock. Uh, tailpiece uses um, acoustic guitar uh, bridge pins to hold the strings in place. Uh, got a binding along the sides of the fretboard. Um, and I guess now I'll just do a little playing for you. Sounds good both acoustic and electric. I'll play a little acoustic for you before I um, plug in. So that's acoustic. Um, the action on this is set just perfectly so it's easy to play by hand without a slide. But then when you want to use a slide, it's high enough as to where you can just easily, seamlessly play with this slide. Uh, so now I'll plug in and play a little electric for you. Another feature I want to point out though also is um, these inlays on the fretboard. Those are real mother of pearl. And then we've also got these side dots along the side of the fretboard, as you'll see on most guitars out there. So. Do a little play on the clean setting first. Got a great sound running through an amp. Um, nice crystal clear. So, um, hopefully you can see this on the camera, but um, a few of the features on my guitars that uh, I don't really see used elsewhere is, um, A, I use two sound posts. Uh, sound posts are typically used in violins, cellos, uh, string basses, and instruments of that sort. Um, they serve two pur purposes. One for reinforcement to keep the uh, face of the guitar from 
caving under the weight of the or caving under the power, force of the strings um, that they apply on the bridge. And another is to uh, transfer the vibrations from the face of the cigar box guitar to the back of the cigar box guitar. So normally you just have the face resonating um, from the strings, basically strings vibrate, the strings vibrate the bone bridge that would normally be on here and that in turn vibrates the face. So normally you just have the face of the guitar resonating, but with the sound posts transferring the vibrations from the face to the back, now you've got the face of the guitar and the back the guitar resonating in unison, which is basically just going to give you better tone, more volume, that sort of thing. Um, another thing is uh, my signature uh, floating neck design. Uh, basically what this is, is uh, the neck is not touching or even glued to any part of the face of the cigar box guitar or the back of the cigar box guitar. Um, some cigar box guitars that are made, uh, the neck will be glued right along the face on the inside of the guitar, which really inhibits the vibrations and doesn't allow it to resonate as much. So I keep the neck from touching the back or the face, I glue it to the sides of the box rather than the face and back. And it just allows the guitar to um, get, get, get a little bit more tone, uh, keeping the neck from touching the face and back. So it's just kind of a tone and volume thing. The guitar will be louder and sound better. Um, another thing I do is I use uh, actual guitar woods. I'll, I'll grab this one for a little bit. On this particular guitar, for example, the neck is mahogany. I have also used maple and other woods. Um, fretboard on this particular guitar is winch. Um, on this guitar, it's uh, walnut. So basically, just using like the higher quality woods that are uh, commonly used on stringed instruments allows the guitar to sound better, um, get a little more volume. It sounds a lot better than the Home Depot woods like red oak and poplar that you often see on cigar box guitars. Um, we've got a nice uh, figured maple headstock up here. Um, and I think that just about covers it all. Strap buttons, we got strap buttons. That's a relatively simple feature that you don't see around too often on cigar box guitars. Um, so yeah, Moody City Blues Box, Honeybird model.